All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about what is drop shipping. And first, I just wanna do a sincere thank you for choosing me as the person that you trust, whether you found me on YouTube or Facebook or wherever. You purchasing this course from me using your hard-earned money shows me that you trust me in teaching you this information so that you'll get value out of it and make some money in the future. So, in the near future, I say future, don't get that all confused. But I'm not one to spend money on stuff like this, so the fact that you would and you find me trustable, trustworthy, whatever it is, it means a lot, it means more than you know. So I just wanna say thank you and I hope that I can continue to earn that trust and that you get a lot of value out of the course that you're about to get into. So what is drop shipping? Drop shipping, for those of you who don't know, and I'm assuming you need a little bit of help, which is why you got the course, hopefully, drop shipping is just buying things online from an online retailer. You know, you can do wholesale drop shipping, but that's not what this is about. You can apply those later when you get a little bit more experienced. And by the way, I don't even do wholesale at the moment, so it's not something that you need to worry about right now. Retail drop shipping is super easy and simple to get started, but there's a lot of information that gets muddied, especially on YouTube, even for my own channel, because I'll jump around topics so much, it's really hard to get the information you need to know in the right order, which is why it can be easy to make mistakes, which I did when I first started. Before I ever made this course, right when I made my YouTube channel, I made so many mistakes, and that's what this course will help you avoid. So, back to what is dropshipping. Dropshipping is just buying something from Amazon, Walmart, eBay, a simple online retailer like that. You can do Home Depot, you name it. I've even done PetSmart before, it doesn't matter but the ones I mentioned are the main ones. And you you take an item, you search something like, you know, like a dog house, and, and you search that item, and you find a, a good pictured one where you're like, you know what, I would, I would look at that really fast. I would buy that maybe. And then you take those photos, you take that description, because that description, chances are somebody who's a really good pro at SEO and all these kind of computer things knows that that's a good description for that item, keyword-wise and all of that. And um, if you need more info on like keywords and SEO and why that matters, you don't really need to know, but you, if you want to ask questions, email me, I'll, I'll be glad to answer those. If somebody, somebody usually will post these things on those retailer websites knowing that that information is what's helpful in getting search results. And you just copy that item if you think it will sell. And in the course, we'll go over better ways to figure out what will and won't sell or ways that you can do it and easily manage it for you. But You'll take that information, you won't actually buy the product yet, you just take the info that you find online and you move over to Facebook, on your Facebook marketplace, and then you copy paste all of that same information as if you're the one selling it. And as you're doing that, you go back to the one you were looking at from the retailer, and you will be like, okay, this costs $25 for me to purchase. Well, then you go back to Facebook and you enter in what you want to sell it for. So let's say you want double, like you, you want to, you want to make twenty five dollars. So you're going to list this item for fifty dollars on Facebook, even though it only costs twenty five. Your customer could easily search this item and find it for twenty five dollars on eBay or whatever. But you're buying it from the person on eBay selling it, and you're selling it for fifty dollars on Facebook. Now, it works. I know that sounds so stupid to somebody like you who's smart enough to be like, well, I would just price search it. I would just, you know, I'd, I'd compare prices at different places online before I bought anything. Duh. But not everybody does that. Not like you'd be surprised how many people don't because you know people like me and others who have taken the course have made thousands and thousands of dollars on this stupid concept. So you sell it for fifty dollars. Somebody actually buys it, and you're like, "What the hell? Why would anybody buy this?" But I'm excited. Somebody buys it from you, which will happen. And now Facebook alerts you, and they say you have an order. Well. You take the information Facebook gives you, which is gonna be the customer's name and address, how much they bought it for, if there's any fees involved, and you turn right around, and you'll log this in a spreadsheet, which will be in a different video. But you turn right around, go buy it from the place you found it, and pay the $25 from your own money. You don't get the Facebook money yet. Then, you wait until, let's eBay, gives you a tracking number, usually takes a, a day or two, now you have the tracking number in email because eBay notified you. You turn right around and you give it to Facebook on your order. You There's a little place you'll find out where you can enter a tracking number. Then it gets delivered. The customer can track it because you gave them an actual tracking number. Turn right around. Facebook waits a little bit just for safety and then they give you the full $50. It's not exactly $50 because of fees and stuff, but just for this example, 50 bucks. Now 
You can pay off the credit card you paid the $25 on if you're using a credit card. Or if you used your own saved up cash, now you just have $50 sitting there and you know that you spent you spent $25, sorry, but you made another $25. So you made profit. That's what drop shipping on Facebook Marketplace is. And I do it every day. People I know do it every day. My whole YouTube audience, my whole Facebook group, which is at the moment of making this over 12,000 people strong. So you probably even came from the Facebook group for all I know. But that's where we're at. That's what Facebook dropshipping is. One thing is we're taking advantage of shipping on Facebook. You couldn't do this unless Facebook had a shipping option on Marketplace. And they didn't before. It used to just be like a Craigslist situation where you could list things and then people would come pick them up at like a gas station or from your house. But they opened up a shipping option um, about a, two years ago, maybe. And um, now you can ship things from, like if you had something, like these are some AirPods from Apple in a stupid case. But if I wanted to sell these and I didn't want them anymore, Facebook lets me ship stuff. And it lets me use a prepaid label or a label of my own. And a prepaid label is a label that Facebook's gonna generate. Again, you'll find out all this information, but I'm giving you broad strokes for this. Well, we're just taking advantage of the other option, which is using your own label. If I wanted to go in and create a label, which in sense is what eBay giving me a tracking number does, I can ship whatever I want, as long as Facebook lets me sell it. We're taking advantage of the shipping option now that Facebook has allowed that to be for normal users. And we're shipping normal stuff everybody, everybody buys online already to individuals. The reason this is growing and so successful is because Facebook has a crazy amount of traffic Think about how many people have Facebook accounts and if with more and more people having marketplace accounts and people just at home after their jobs, there is a ton of people that maybe not, maybe aren't you, but they will like window shop on Facebook marketplace on their couch while they're watching TV or in bed or in the morning, whatever, while they're relaxing. Some people just love window shopping on online and Facebook has now introduced that to people. And I know people personally who do this. They they just add stuff to carts or they go find stupid stuff for their cars or whatever, little little simple pleasure purchases. Some people buy important things from Facebook. Doesn't really matter. But that's what we're taking advantage of because there's so much traffic coming from Facebook. It's one of the biggest traffic sources probably online. What can you sell? You can sell pretty much anything as long as you kind of think somebody will buy it. You can list anything you want, but that doesn't mean people are gonna look at it and be interested. So there are some tricks that we'll get into of figuring out what may or may not sell as long as, as, as well as just some inspirational stuff. So we'll get into that as well. Basically, it's a numbers game. So you can list whatever you want. You just have to be good at the numbers part. You have to outlast the patience that it takes to list and sell these things. Some of you will not sell something right away. It may, it may even take you weeks to a month to sell anything. I've had people that don't ever sell anything because they don't actually apply these tactics and they don't, they don't be, they're not consistent. I'll be honest with you. It took me three days when I first started without a course and without any information to actually sell my first product. Some people who have already taken this course, because if you don't know this video that's being recorded right now, this is the second iteration of the same video. I used to have an old one that was like way worse, but now I'm even more experienced and, and wanted to revitalize my course. So this is new. It can take time or it can take no time at all. Some of it's luck, some of it's just Facebook's algorithm, and some of it's actual intentionality from you. So let's get started. I'm super excited that you joined me here and I'm ready to make you some money.